Now here we are going to talk about a very important concept called as a man pages. Now for example you are using some of the commands and you do not know how to use the command completely. You do not know what the parameters are. The man function or this man pages will be helpful for you there. So as we have discussed in earlier into the data structures or the directory structures, we have seen we have multiple directories. Into that we have the lib directory which contains all the help files. So if you remember, those help files we are going to use it for getting access for the commands help. Now if I have a particular command to check the parameters or to check for what the command's purpose is, we can go and use the help commands. So let us check how this help or the manual pages can be used. As this commands, if you are using, you can go for getting the number of options of this particular commands. Like we have seen ls, ls is for list, ls space hyphen a means for hidden files, ls space hyphen i I can use for getting the inode numbers, ls space hyphen l I can use for the getting the details of the file. So all these particular parameters which we have, which shows me completely different output of the same files or, or the same list. The same way there are many particular commands which have different parameters to give you different outputs. So those particular options and the mandatory options which you have you can check by using this manual pages. And also this is a help file what we have discussed. This is a help file which is also called as a man pages. Man pages is a short form of your manual pages. So if there is a command you want to check for you are not sure how to use it or then man pages will be helpful for you in this way. So how you will be using or how you will be getting access to the man pages. You do not have to move into the library. Just on the prompt you just need to define man and apart from that just define the name of the command you want to get displayed and get the parameters of. So let us see how we can check the commands parameters by using this man command. So we can check for manual pages by giving man command from anywhere. So man and then we can add the manual page command which I am looking for like you know if I want to search for a cat command and what the parameters does our cat command has. So we can check for it. These are the different parameters we have. It will show you why we use the cat commands and you know uh, what's the usage of it. If you want to quit out of here press, uh, press Q. Okay and uh, then if suppose i want to look for ls commands so you can also check for ls command it's for listing the directory content it will show you complete details of your complete ls command correct so you can check for all the parameters you have like why we use those particular parameters the complete descriptions are given over here into this like so these are the lines of you know command we have so also we can check for you know um some related commands are also given like if you have this you can also check for the info commands so the like your man pages you also have the info so info will give you the same uh, you know information about the complete command that is your ls command its complete description about it then it will start with the list of your parameters into it so either you can go for you know complete core uh, you know advantage of using your commands by using the list so it will show you all the particular you know um, the parameters as well as how you will be able to use those particular commands and everything it is going to show you in details so that is called as a core utility information that we generally get into the info then also we have the info you can give for looking out the number of commands you generally have and uh, which command can be used for what purpose you can select any of the command and you can get access to it right so these are the number of commands and really we have we can use into the Linux operating system we can get the information about it by just the info right so this is how the help files generally we get into the Linux operating system we have talked about info we have talked about here P info and uh, your man pages or if suppose you do not want to use any of the command you can also press F1 so F1 will help you to get the help so you can check uh, I have pressed the F1 and it is directly providing me the terminal helps so it will show me how to execute a particular command it will show you how you can open the terminal step by step what exactly you can do so uh, for each and every you know help you require you can also go for your F1 help which will be a graphical help provided to you. So again you can also use 
help command so it will show you all the particular commands generally which we can use at this particular prompt so these are the you know commands we have seen that is p info info man and then um, we have seen how we can get the help command or using the uh, f1 we can also get the help page through the browser so f1 will only work into the you know graphical console but not into the command line console set. so if you are going into command line console and if i press f1 it won't do anything it will just give me an error and a beep we can say now if here i can use the help here i can use the man pages okay sorry man and the uh, you know command i require so i can get all the kind of help into the command line terminal Moving back to our graphical terminal by pressing all control and F1. So uh, this is the help command generally we have into the Linux operating systems. And this help generally you get from the lib directory which we have uh, seen into the directory structure. So here we have completed with your man pages and getting help from your Linux operating systems. So into next videos, I'm going to show you some a bit administration of your Linux operating system. So how we can create and manage the user accounts and a group account. So keep watching.